Good morning. Welcome to the best day of the week, Thursday. In terms of class schedules, I only have to be there from 9.35 to 1.25, so I'm on the way in now. Uh, it's a pretty decent morning, actually, 66 degrees, and uh, we've got some blue sky up there, but I've got ecology and classics to contemporary English today, where we're just writing college essays, so not bad at all. This is like a San Diego State little thing going on here. I think that's the right school, but uh, you can tell who copied that. So we're downtown on our flexible attendance pass. How you doing? I'm doing good. He got How himself you a sandwich. I got grapes and chips and stuff down there. And this is awesome. Today is the last day of summer on the calendar, as well as the last day of summer weather-wise. Tomorrow it goes back down to 60 degrees. Today's still up at like 75. This is a San Diego day. It is 74 degrees. Wall to wall sunshine. This is just absolutely beautiful. So uh, we're gonna have our lunch here, walk around, and then be back to school when we need to be. Home. Time to mow next door and then biking because it is 80 degrees and absolutely beautiful out there. We're out biking now. Uh, we've done 4.1 miles, and here's that Cadillac XLR that we've seen before. It's Re drifting. really expensive. I don't know why it's uh. Whoops! Off the road. I don't know why it's liked so much. I mean, I guess it's a nice car, but I don't know. I'm a German car guy. I've also got a M3 over here from BMW Cleveland with a manual. Nice. That's an awesome car. What do you think, Taylor? Very nice. Oh, yeah. Don't see too many of these with the manuals. Slotted rotors, or drilled. And it's, it's six speed. Very cool. Another car at the same place, that's a newer 911 something turbo with a nice wing on the back. Sweet. All right, we're just out uh, cruising around. It's a beautiful night, 75 degrees. Still got some sunshine left, so I'm just out kind of looking at some nice houses and found a couple of decent cars. Um, anybody that knows what I'm talking about, I'm near the country club down here at Lake Forest. So some real nice houses back here. Nice streets and stuff. It's a nice place to ride a bike. There's a nice one for sale. I like the Tudors. Nice style. For sale. They're not all real big, uh, but they're real nice. Really nicely kept. Nice place to live. Made it to the country club. Uh, it was about 1.3 miles down here. Um, so it's pretty good. That means we'll add uh, three miles to our total for today. I'll let you know what that is later. How you doing, Tim? Oh, I love Hudson. Again. I'm pretty sure this is David Hudson's house, the founder of this uh, city that I happen to live in. So that's pretty cool. Little history lesson here if anybody actually cares. Hey, my bumpers! Sorry, don't kill me. Well, this is nice. Cool. That looks so good sitting over there. Tell me what it is down below. Make and model. And it is a beautiful night out here. Waiting for Taylor to come back after, uh, after his dinner. It's nice to be able to sit here and just look at that for a few minutes, but. Uh, it's kind of clouded over. It's supposed to rain in about an hour, so uh, well, Ford ruined it. What do you know? Yeah, so I'm just going to wait here for him. We'll take another look at the car, ride around, and uh, head back home. I guess get some work done tonight. No homework, just uh, tech video, vlog, and some emails. This 6 Series is a manual, too. This is the 6-speed that always has the top up, but my god, it is, is it beautiful. Done. We got 15.3 miles in today. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to go in and make a tech video now about Windows 8 and study for my ecology test. And yeah, cloud it over. So I'll talk to you in a little bit after I get some shit done. Before. After. Took about 20 minutes. I didn't get everything because there's still plenty more to come down, but that's a big improvement. Okay, so uh, I got deer over here. Check that out. 
I don't know if you can see them. They're just hanging out over there in that yard. No, you can't see them. But there's three. Why am I in the car? Why are you in the car, Ryan? You already said you're going in to do some work tonight. Well, uh, I got the, the leaves blown off. I pretty much got inside and realized that they didn't do that. And now it's supposed to rain for a few days. So I wanted to get that done before it got really bad. Um, opened up my folder to see what I needed to school. And I wrote myself a note. Bring a two liter bottle on Friday because we're starting an engineering drawing. It's called Eggs in Space. We have to make something that a egg will survive in when we drop it off a building. So uh, I need a bottle for that apparently. I guess that's one of the required uh, things we have to use. And I asked my mom to get one yesterday and she forgot, so no big deal. We're going out now, it's uh, 8.43. I'm just gonna run downtown to Acme, buy some lemonade or pop or something in a bottle and put it in another bottle and we'll bring that bottle tomorrow. All right, let me just say something. What the f I, what the hell is going on around here, you know? Two cars passed me before I made a left here into Acme Plaza, where the where we, where we got donuts yesterday. One of them was a Bentley Continental GT. The second one was a uh, red Ferrari 308 or 28. I knew by the taillights it was one of those two. They're virtually the same to me. I don't understand. It's 8.58 p.m. and all the nice cars are out. I just went through downtown. There's a 335 IS, the BMW. I'm pretty sure that's the same one that we saw before with the manual. All of the nice cars around here are out at night. Kenan, we should switch our routine. We need to go biking at night now. I mean, seriously, Bentleys, Ferraris. We saw the Ferrari earlier today. What the hell is going on around here? It doesn't make any sense to me. Wow, it feels like I haven't been in here forever, but I was just here. It's weird, because I'm always over here in this part of the store. I look over there, I'm like, wow, this is new. No, it's not. It's been there for five years. And all the magazines. Uh, my sister texted me she needs Skittles and a candy bar tomorrow. I don't know, I kind of miss freshman year. Things like that would go on. So yet again, I'm coming into a store for the most random things. I need Skittles, a candy bar, and a two-liter bottle of something. How do I pick? Mmm, Lake Fruit Punch. Love Lemonade. Which one? I don't like Sunny D. Which one? Oh, you know me too well. Job done. And the best part is, we're not done yet. I gotta go get gas. Uh, it's obviously not accurate right now as the engine's off, but it's just about a quarter tank or something like that. We'll see what it actually is in a second. Uh, there we go, it's just about a quarter tank, so I'm gonna run over and fill up now while I'm thinking about it, so I'll be good for another week. Cool beans. Oh. So close. So close. Alright, so I just turned back into my neighborhood, and there's like three or four deer sitting up there again, and they just watch me drive by like, oh look, there goes another guy in one of them machines. So there's nobody coming. I stopped once I pulled in my neighborhood and uh, put it in neutral and gave it a little bit of gas and they looked over like a bomb had gone off and immediately got up and just hauled you know what. Pretty funny. Uh, probably not something I'm going to do all the time, but hey, those deer need to realize that when there's a car around, they better not touch it because if they hurt my car, I'll make more noise. 